What's going on YouTube? This is Seha Man, and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a very, uh, very, I guess you can say somewhat hard to get figure right now. Uh, people are paying big bucks for this guy. I mean, I saw like on eBay, he, at first he was going for like 50 to maybe 100 bucks in package. And then I saw one on eBay that I think went up to like $500 or something. I think it was maybe 500 or 600 and then one went up for like 200 which I think is ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> I mean, this figure is really hard to get, but it's already hitting stores. Um, I managed to pick mine up a f maybe two to three months ago, but I was lucky because uh, I got it when I had gotten my other Marvel Legends when Series 2 had just came out, and I picked them up uh, through a friend, but I didn't want to open the figure because I wanted to pick up another one, and I actually have two of these now, so I'm going to open one up and get a, we'll get a look at him. And this, of course, is the Return of Marvel Legends. This is Wave 2. We're looking at Dark Wolverine. This is the Ar Arnim uh, Zola series here. Oh, excuse me a second. I just got to adjust my... There we go. Okay, so yeah, this is the Arnim Zola series. <clears throat> and we're going to be taking a look at... Whoa. Oh, you hate when that happens. We're going to be taking a look at the Dark Wolverine. This is the mass version. I already did a review on the uh, unmasked version. And the packaging is the same as the other one. Same exact packaging. Comes with the same part of Arnim Zola, the left arm. Um, right here in the back, it's the same exact artwork. Everything is pretty much the same. Nice little artwork there. And the uh, rest of the figures from the Wave, which I already have. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is by Hasbro. What we're going to do is take a quick break and we're going to take the figure outside of the packaging and we'll do a little comparison with the mass and unmasked version. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, so here we have uh, Dark Wolverine or uh, Dokken outside of the packaging. And same accessories. Comes with the left arm of Arnim Zola. Comes with the uh, tails of Arnim Zola. This is the, what is this, one? One of six. The Captain America story there. The backside has how to build Artem Zola. Same old stuff. And uh, let's get a close look here at Wolverine or Dokken or Dark Wolverine. And I'm going to say right now, I really do like the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt is done very well. You can see that there. Got a little bit of paint. Looks like paint chip there. Not a big deal. But the, I mean, I think the mask looks awesome. I, I really, really like the uh, head sculpt on this guy. I think it looks just really, really nice. You can see he has a nice little, kind of like a angry look going on there. Left eye kind of looks like it's squinting a little bit. <clears throat> Got a little angry expression. Very, very nice uh, head sculpt. I'm really impressed with this figure. I mean, I liked the, uh, the unmasked version as well. Uh, other than that, the figure is pretty much the same exact body as the unmasked version, he's got the same tattoos there. He's got the uh, the two bone claws right there. He's got the belt, loose belt. So same exact figure, pretty much. The head can go all the way up, all the way down, rotate side to side. He's got the ab crunch. Arms go in and out, forward and back, double jointed. So I'm not really going to get too much into the articulation because I already went over the articulation when I did the... Um, the uh, unmasked version, but he's got that cool little shoulder, you know, articulation there, which is really nice. But I mean, let's just get a close up on the head sculpt. I mean, because this is the reason why a lot of people want the figure. I mean, because he's this is the masked version, very, very nice. You guys, want to take a full on look here? A great, great figure. Really, really am impressed. So I'll bring out uh, the masked, the unmasked version of, of Dakin here. So you can see both of them there, side by side. Lift the camera up. And again, like I said, both versions are just, in my opinion, awesome. And they have really, really good articulation. So if you want to, you know, if you guys want to see the articulation or and stuff, you know, you can just check out my um, other video I did on the um, unmasked version of uh, Dokken. You guys can see that there. 
But um, he is a really, really great figure. I highly recommend him. Is he worth like 500 bucks and or more than 100? Uh, in my opinion, going to say no. I mean, you can probably get some other uh, uh, like greater or rarer figures for that price. But either way, this figure is just really, really nice. And if you guys are into like the Dark Avengers, you know he's going to go great for your setup. Even though we still need a couple more characters to build the Dark Avengers, but a very, very nice figure. Again, I'm really happy that um, I finally picked up a couple more so I can open this guy up. I've been wanting to open him up for a while, and uh, like I said, now that I found him in stores, I managed to pick a couple up and uh, was able to do a review finally on him. I'd be able to open them up. Okay, guys, just wanted to show you guys a quick little look at the um, Marvel Legends. This is the Series 2. This is the Arnim Zola series. And today we're taking a look at the mass version of Dokken. So hope you guys enjoyed my review. This is Sehaman, and we'll see you guys next time.